Did you know that bacteria can be used to produce jet fuel to fly planes? That tiny microorganisms can recycle what we once considered to be waste? This is a story about how biology can be harnessed to drive the green transition of industry and agriculture. And how the Novo Nordisk Foundation, along with our investment company, Novo Holdings, are a key part of this journey. While the treatment of diseases has vastly improved over time, the health of our planet is deteriorating. We've made it our responsibility to support education, research and investments to help change this development. As our population grows and our meat consumption skyrockets, so does the release of greenhouse gases. Which is why we're supporting research that will transform basic crops like oats into foods that taste and feel like meat while being nutritious. But it's not enough to make new scientific discoveries. We also support early stage entrepreneurs in bringing their discoveries from the lab onto the market, from groundbreaking ideas to delivery of solutions. And we follow this up with ongoing investments. While it's true that these new investments may have a longer trajectory, they not only generate strong financial returns, but also have a positive societal impact, all by harnessing the powers of biology. Take for our example our investment in US-based biomason. Cement accounts for 8% of global carbon dioxide emissions. Biomason grows biocement the same way nature grows coral reefs. They use natural microorganisms to create new bricks from loose waste aggregate. This means that high heat and fossil fuels are not required in the process. And the result is a product that actually outperforms conventional concrete in strength and durability. Curbing climate change also requires solutions that can recycle gases. That's why we've established a new CO2 research center that will become a powerhouse in the battle against climate change and lead to new companies like Lancetec. Lancetec's innovative technology is like retrofitting a brewery onto an emission source such as a steel mill or a landfill site. But instead of combining sugars and yeast to make beer, carbon dioxide and other pollutants are converted by bacteria into fuels and chemicals. The day your plane is powered by recycled greenhouse gases is not far away. Even though this is a story about how something as tiny as microorganisms can help erect a building or launch a jet plane, it's so much more. It's really a story about how biology is going to help us save the planet from this global crisis. All it takes is some radical ideas and a strong foundation to support them and make them grow. We are committed to doing our part all the way from the lab to takeoff. <laughs>